Now let's look at the Russian Empire of 1914. It was Tsar Nicholas II who was ruling Russia at that time and Russia at that time did not just comprise of Moscow and the territories around but even Finland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Poland, Ukraine and Belarus were the part of Russia. And here most of the population belonged to the Orthodox Christians but there were others like the Catholics, the Protestants, the Buddhists and the Muslims. That was the state of Russia in the year 1914. Now let us look at the economy of Russia at this time. In the beginning of the 20th century, most people of Russia were agriculturists. That is, they actually were making their living out of farming. But they also had industrial areas at places like Petersburg and Moscow. Now most of the industries were privately owned so the condition of the workers was very very bad. They had to work for long 15 hours, the wages were low, the living conditions were poor and all that, all those problems which industrialization saw in other parts of Europe was seen here also in Russia. The workers were divided into various social groups, some those who had been living permanently in cities for many years, some belonged to a group which was of their own profession but thankfully whenever there was a bigger problem that is whenever one particular group of workers wanted a hike in the salary or wanted better conditions of working then all of them used to actually come together and go for a strike. And most of the strikes at this time in Russia were seen in the textile mills. The peasants of Russia at this time were very different from the peasants of the other countries. In other countries of the world, most of the peasants had lot of respect for their nobles. But here the nobles were not respected and the nobles drew their authority only from the emperor. They were also different in another way that is they used to pool their land and whatever the commune was, whatever the gain was divided amongst the group there. So that was the Russian Empire and the economy of Russia at this time. We will continue with it in the next clipping.